find derivatives involving natural logarithms. The derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. x is only defined when it's greater than 0. If we have u a function of x, then the derivative of the natural log of u with respect to x is 1 over u times the du dx, applying the chain rule. Now we also have a method called logarithmic differentiation, where we can take the logarithm of both sides of an explicit y equation. We can use the advantages of laws of logarithms to simplify complex expressions of the form with exponents, products, or quotients. It is important to remember that the last step, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by y to solve for y prime. So let's start with a natural log of the square root of x minus 7. This could be written in the form the natural log of x minus 7 to the 1 half. So to find dy dx, we use the law of exponents. First take 1 half out in front. So we're going to take the derivative of 1 half natural log of x minus 7. So it would be 1 half. The derivative of the log of x minus 7 is 1 over x minus 7. So we wind up with 1 over 2 times x minus 7. As a second example, suppose we're interested in the cube root of x minus 1 over x squared, and we want to take the derivative of this. First, we write this as the natural log of one-third the natural log of x minus 1 minus the natural log of 2x squared. Now to take the derivative of this, we apply our law from above. We have one-third. The derivative of the log of x minus 1 would be 1 over x minus 1. And the derivative of 2 times the log of x would be 2 over x. So we could simplify this, try to get a common denominator of x times x minus 1. So we'd have x minus 2 times x minus 1. So it would be negative 2x plus 2. Or finally, our simplified answer would be negative x plus 2 over x times x minus 1. Finally, if we have y in terms of x and we're interested in the derivative, we can do what's called logarithmic differentiation. So what we're going to do is take the natural log of both sides. When we take the natural log of this side, notice we have a quotient, so we can write this as the log of 1 minus x squared. That's the square root is the same as to the 1 half, minus 2 thirds the natural log of x plus 1. So we immediately get the advantage of logarithm laws. So if we take the derivative of the natural log of y, we get 1 over y, y prime. We take the log, the derivative of the log of this, we get, first of all, we can bring a 1 half out in front. And the derivative of the log will be 1 over 1 minus x squared. The derivative of 1 minus x squared is negative 2x minus 2 thirds times the log of x plus 1 is 1 over x plus 1. So we have the 2's cancel, so we're left with negative x over 1 minus x squared minus 2 over 3 times x plus 1. So we have y prime is equal to this, but we have to multiply this entire item by y. So our final answer would be negative x over 1 minus x squared minus 2 over 3 times x plus 1 times y, which was our original expression, which is 1 minus x squared to the 1 half all over x plus 1 to the 2 thirds. There are many situations that using logarithmic differentiation can make a very complex problem into a little more reasonable problem.